got a lot of people that ask me about my thoughts on this. I've been a couple of my live streams, and I remember I'm getting caught up. I was like three weeks behind on comic books. I have a big stack, just so you guys can see, of the uh, last few, in a couple of weeks right here that I have to go through. Uh, that does not include this week. So, man, got a, got a ways to go, huh? Um, but a lot of people ask me about my thoughts. Donnie Cates is now writing Thor. Me personally, I don't like the idea that they kind of switched to another volume. I don't like the whole reboot. I, I want to get back to high issue series, much like Thor was back in the gap. Um, I would have rather, excuse me, them do like what DC did with Batman. If they're going to switch writers, just switch writers. Um, but Marvel's not going to not take advantage of any opportunity that they can to reboot a series and have an issue number one out. So why does Siri think I'm talking to her? I'm not sure. So I just got through reading. Like when I said I just got through reading it, I just got through reading it. Thought it was a good time to just catch my thoughts. Um, instead of rereading it, usually I read books a couple of different times, maybe before I upload a video. But reading it one time and assessing it as I'm going. For those that have not read this it looks like this is going to get a lot more cosmic and you can see that kind of in his suit on the cover it kind of is a dead giveaway that we're going cosmic but why are we going cosmic so we this really picks up you got thor's all father if you read the war of the realms as well as the end of thor the the previous run you know this is where we're at a lot of different things have happened. Frost Giants, King of the Frost Giants is Loki. Now, again, Thor is all father, rebuilding a vast guard. All of that stuff is taking place. And as he's about to make this announcement, this is what happened in this book, not no so announcement, but let's say speech, right? All new, all father. Galactus comes crashing down into uh it just in, in, into Asgard, just like right as he's about to give the speech, and we get this. I would love to get this on a print, or he just crashes. And he's been a Galactus has been oddly handled, I would argue, in the last eh, about five years or so, um, in, t in terms of when he pops up, maybe a little over that. But you know, him being gone, him being actually dead, him being sick. Um, him going from good to bad or back to bad and, 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 and it's just back to planet eating and all of this. So interesting how they've been handling him, but they are going through with this idea that he is sick, um, which you've picked up on before. And the black winter is coming is what he's saying. Now, what this is, is if you remember and you're or more so you're not, let's say, familiar with this character with Galactus. He existed in the universe or galaxy before the one that they're currently in existed. Um, he's just one of the ones that survived um, that bang. And this is where we're at. He's seeing that again, right? So it's like the this whole end of the galaxy type of situation that's coming, coming forth. Uh, the star plague, it's here. And what I love about this is not only the, are we seeing the other heralds, even even uh, uh, Cosmic Ghost Rider, but we're seeing all the other heralds come here and Thor's like to Asgard. He had his ravens go get them all. He says, hey, man, what in the world is going on? He comes crashing into my in Asgard talk, talking about some some star plague. What is it? And, and Silver Surfer, who is not silver really anymore he's black um you would have to read super surfer black and his battle with noel and all of that beginning to start a universe and all of that noel is the king of the symbiotes uh god of the symbiotes but he, he comes up he's like man this this is the end of everything and what happens is he's like okay i have planets silver surfer has this idea i have all of these planets um, that i've been hiding they have great power we can move these guys off of there um, so that nobody lives. Oh, excuse me, nobody lives. Nobody dies um, as he eats them. But we need him to be powerful so he can fight this star plague. Um, 
uh, or, or what have you. And Galactus, it was like, oh, well, so they're going to go on a trip. Thor's like, I'm coming with you, right? If that's what's got to happen, I'm coming with you. And Galact, he tells Galactus to kneel, which is interesting. And Galactus actually kneels for, for King Thor, but it, it's kind of null and void because Galactus is like, as Silver Surface, like, you, you know, you're connected with me. You know what we're about to do, right? You know what my ideas were. And Galactus is like, nah, bro, um, th this isn't what's going to happen. Yes, this is the end, and I see the end, but what I see when you look at what he's saying, he says, and I quote, the frost, the star plague, it is not a being. Each galaxy or entity that gazes into it perceives it differently just as I am perceived differently by each of you. The Black Winter, however, when it gaze, when you gaze into it, you see the form of your own death. So he's saying that the Black Winter different is this, this is different. I'm, I, when I see into it, it's different. And I'm seeing my own death. Uh, just as I saw my own death before, uh, he, he because he had seen nothing before, you know, when he was Galan and he was a just a regular guy in the previous galaxy, he didn't see nothing. He had no experience, right? But now he sees it as he's looking into this black winter and the death of him isn't necessarily this plague. He says the death of him is Thor. So what he does is he, and this is very interesting. He shoots him with beams and he's like, yo, we're going to go defeat this black winner. We'll kill it off together. And then me and you got to have words, right? But he says, until then, rise. You are now Herald of Thunder. So now, which is very interesting because for continuity's sake, I would have to do some digging. I'm not going to, as much in the comic book knowledge as I, as I have, I'm not sure if anything comes into conflict with this not off the top of my head. That doesn't mean that isn't the case. I would need to do some digging. I'm not one of those guys who likes to, oh, let me Google on a fandom site real quick and do this video, which a lot of other creators do to make it, you know, sort of pretend like they know what they're talking about, about everything. I don't know. And I always tell you guys that I don't know everything. What I know is what I know. I would like to go in depth. And maybe that's for another, uh, another video and go more in depth with if there's any conflict in the fact that, he now has the powers of, of, of a herald of Galactus and each each Gal each herald has got a little bit different from it. But you consider how powerful so the surfer is. You consider how powerful Thor is. And now you are mixing basically the two in, in the sense that he's the he, he gets power from Galactus. So what direction does this go in? I don't know. And that in itself is intriguing to me. The fact that I can't really understand what what what's, what are they trying to accomplish? Donny Cates, who has me blocked on Twitter, by the way. Anything but Jason Aaron, uh, still. Uh, I'm on board for that. But Donny does have me blocked on Twitter. Anything other than that. Anything other than that, other than Jason Aaron, I'm fine with. I have to say that because I did not like the direction. You know, I've talked about jane foster and how her being handled and look this is all J J jason aaron's doing but i'm intrigued by this because the it ends perfectly it's a great first issue it ends perfectly because you're like what does this mean thor was already powerful now that he's this herald of of, of of a supposed herald of galactus what does this actually mean when you mix a god with galactus's power um what does that entail i don't know and that in itself is very, very intriguing to me. I do love the idea of them getting more cosmic with Thor. Uh, they've not entertained that a lot. You see Thor come and go with some of the cosmic Yo. stuff. You, when you think cosmic, you do think the Silver Surfer. You think OG Captain Marvel. You think uh, even Thanos. You think stuff like that. Not necessarily Thor. So to see the direction that they're trying to go with this, we're going cosmic Marvel, but having Thor go along for the ride, I think it's going to be fun. I think it's going to be interesting. And we're going to see how this is going to be handled. But Thor goes uh, Super Saiyan, and now he's, well, I guess you could say he's K.O. Ken, right? K.O. Ken times 2,000. Thor. I don't know. 
This is interesting. I'm very interesting. Interested, excuse me, in this, and I do appreciate a lot of you guys reaching out to me, saying, "Hey, man, what are your thoughts on the new Thor? We know you're a Silver Surfer guy. Um, what, what are your thoughts on it?" And I do like it. First issue, great first issue. We'll see what this means and uh, what we're going on and what's going to happen in the future. But I will say, and I want to reiterate, I do not like the reboot. I do not like the idea of, okay, we're going in another, another issue one. Let's get back to we, we're 80, issue 86 of Batman. Let's get, no, I know a different company, but that's what I like. I want high issue series. Let's get back to the high issue series. But nice change of pace. We'll see what happens.